Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from Old Printing Inc. In today's really quick video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to clean your DTF commercial printer. Now, over the time, your printer can get dirty, especially underneath the cart where your print head sits. Now, for us, we actually have four print heads. So we have a total of four print heads and a squeegee. So you can imagine that underneath the cart over there, it can get quite messy. So obviously you guys already saw the end of night routine, how to do the shutdown on your DTF commercial printer. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how to maintain your cart. This is very important if you wanna make sure that lines like this don't happen on your prints. This is gonna ensure a better quality and make sure everything stays consistent, especially when doing big productions. So without any further ado, make sure you guys take a look at how to do your shutdown ritual on this printer. And now let's get right into cleaning underneath the cart. So here's a quick list of everything you'll be needing. First of all, obviously your DTF printer. You're also gonna be needing alcohol swaps. I'll have a link down below. You can obviously get this on Amazon, Walmart, whatever the case. Just make sure you have a bunch of these alcohol swabs ready to go. This is also optional, but I suggest you guys have some sort of weeding tool. Something like this. And finally, not necessary, but also I suggest you guys have foam swabs to be able to go inside of those cracks. But main thing is going to be alcohol swabs like this and also some sort of Scott towel or Kleenex. Let's get right into it. Let's get our alcohol swabs and go over to the cart. Now guys, I suggest that you turn off your printer. However, for this example, I'm going to leave it on. So the thing that's cool about these printers, you can just turn this down. I actually have a stool right here. I suggest you guys do the same so you get comfortable. Now, as you guys can see, this underneath of the cart got a lot of ink here. We have a lot of debris and generally you want to make sure this is as clean as possible for long term production. So the main takeaway guys is i want you guys to be scrubbing this with alcohol pads and make sure you try to avoid touching the print head so i want to clean everywhere especially in the corners right here where there's some dried up white ink around the cart and also just make sure that there's no debris falling off the cart so the first thing i want to do guys is kind of go around the cart itself just remove any debris and dried up ink not even going close to my print heads right now just kind of removing any excess dried up ink in the corners. I want to start with this slowly. Make sure you guys have a lot of alcohol swabs handy. I'm going to go in the corners here. As you guys can see, this is the perfect example because underneath of this cart was getting very, very dirty. This is all dried up ink right here. As you can see, this is really not good. So lots of dried up ink. We'll repeat this step until everything is as dry as a bone. Everything is clean. So right here I'm going in the corners of the print head, trying to, trying to remove any excess dried ink. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to grab my weeding tool and I'm going to show you guys how to remove that clogged dried up ink. So in the corners here I'm just trying to go and remove any dried up ink. Trying to avoid touching the print head at all costs, especially with this weeding tool. As you can see, nice clumps are coming out. I want to repeat those steps. Kind of remove all that dried up rubbery ink. If ever it's not coming out, you take a alcohol swab like this and kind of try to remove it by hand like this. As you can see, we got it here.
be very careful if you're using a weeding tool, especially close to your print head. This is really to get that dried up ink that's very stubborn. So after taking a good look guys, now what I'm going to do is just go around my print heads and remove any excess dried up ink and after that I'm going to go in the corner. So if we zoom in on this white print head for example, what I want to do is just take my swab and kind of go in the corners here like this, try to remove any dried up excess ink. Main takeaway here guys is you want to make sure that obviously your print heads are clean but also underneath the cart you want to make sure that there's no debris left so it's really clean and there's nothing touching either your print head or the cart itself. So now the most important step in my opinion guys is right here where we kind of go and try to remove any debris on the print head printhead themselves so I'm just taking a quick look trying to remove any debris that might have gone on the print on the print head and everything looks good there's still a bit of debris but obviously you guys can clean this however you like I know that I'm gonna do a deep clean very very soon so I'm just trying to remove the majority of the excess but I know I'm gonna be back in a few weeks to do a deep clean, but you get the idea. You just want to make sure that nothing is touching your cart anymore. Nothing is dangling off. So in this example, you know, this stuff right here, as long as it's not dangling off, we're okay. If it is, I just want to remove it like this and make sure there's no debris kind of going down on the printhead itself. Also, this is a good example. You don't want any of that going on. And everything looks pretty good. So, this was basically how to clean your DTF print heads underneath the cart. I'll make a more in-depth video giving you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to clean every single thing to make sure that it's brand new. However, if you are in production and you need to get back to printing as soon as possible, this video is going to be very helpful for you guys. I need to get back to printing and don't have time to do a full cleaning. The main takeaways are highlighted in this video and hopefully you'll find this video helpful enough so you can be, get back to printing and focus on what matters most. If you guys found this video somewhat helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. This was Dom from Whole Printing Inc. Make a print, you'll never forget.